Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you why I love this Bun Speed Brew Classic 10 Cup Coffee Maker. Bun coffee makers make a great pot of coffee, but there are a few things that you got to know about them. They're a little bit different than a standard coffee maker. Okay, I'm going to explain a few things about this coffee maker, then I'm going to make a pot of coffee. First off, this switch on the front is only for the warming plate. So if you want the warming plate on, you got to turn the switch on. This does not turn the coffee maker on. So over here on the left hand side, there's another switch. This switch has to stay on all the time because there's a holding tank back here that's going to keep the water hot at all times. And then when you put your water in, it's going to displace that, that, that water that is already hot. It's going to cause that water to go over and brew the coffee. Then you'll have to heat this up again. I like to call this the vacation switch. So if you're going to be gone for more than a week or five days, you want to turn this switch off because that water could boil away inside that holding tank. And so you just definitely want to turn that off. But that normally needs to stay on. And it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to warm that water up when you first get your coffee maker. And there's a setup procedure. You've got to fill that tank up. After that tank's filled up, you're going to turn the switch on. And then that's going to maintain that water at a certain temperature ready to brew at any time. So when you first get a bun coffee maker, you've got to leave this switch off. You've got to put water in the coffee maker until water comes out. Then that means this holding tank in the back is full. Then you can turn it on and then it's ready to make coffee after 15 minutes of warming up. But once the initial setup is done, you don't have, this switch is going to be on all the time. So in the morning, you're just going to put your water in the top here. It's going to displace that hot water and it's going to brew a, a 10 cup pot of coffee in about four minutes. That's how come these are so fast is because that water is already ready to go in the back. Up here, this is where you're going to put your water. You're going to put your water in here and there's this little lever right here. So when you put your water in here, it's going to stay in this top part here until you close the lid. When you close the lid, it's going to let it go and displace that hot water and start brewing. You've got your filter basket here. There is no pause brewing. It's, so you can't take your craft out until the coffee's all done. There's what the brew head looks like. Now the next thing about a bun coffee maker is you got to use bun coffee filters. They're just a little taller. Here I've got a standard 8 to 12 cup uh, filter and you'll notice they're just a little bit taller. That's because the water, the hot water is coming out a little bit faster than a standard coffee maker. So we got to make sure and use bun coffee filters in our bun coffee makers. You can't use a reusable filter, you can only use a paper filter. Okay, so let's make ourselves a pot of coffee. Again, let's put our bun coffee filter in. You're gonna put one tablespoon of coffee for every cup you're gonna brew. I'm gonna brew the full 10 cups. If you only wanted to brew six cups, just put six tablespoons and fill the craft up to the six cup mark. One, two, three. Okay, so I've got my 10 tablespoons of coffee in there. Just give it a little shake to kind of even it out. There, now it's nice and level. And this slides in this track really easy. Now let's go fill our craft up to the 10 cup mark with just fresh water. Okay, so I've already filled up my tank in the back. It's been on for a while. The water's nice and hot back there. I'm gonna lift this lid. I'm gonna pour my fresh water in here. Now the water's not gonna come out until I close the lid. So don't close the lid until you have your craft back in place because the coffee will start to come out rather fast. Put this back. Now it's time to close the lid and you can turn the warming plate on. So I started a stopwatch. We'll take some temperatures and we'll see how fast this thing brews. Okay, so within about 10, 15 seconds from closing the lid, you start to get coffee coming out. And that coffee coming out the bottom is really hot, 188. So that means that that tank back there was ready. It's, it's keeping that water really hot so that you'll displace it and start the brew. That's why they call these speed brews. They're very quiet, except for when it's time to heat that water in the back. So when the coffee maker is sitting there, you may hear the water start to boil in the back from time to time. But there is no pause brewing. You do have to wait for this to completely finish brewing. Do not take the carafe out or it will dump out. About halfway there, and it's still around 193. Now, one thing you will have to remember to turn this switch off. This switch, the warming plate does not turn off automatically. So when you're done brewing your, or when you're done drinking your coffee, make sure you turn this switch off or your, it will burn the coffee in your craft. 
but you will always leave that switch on unless you leave on vacation. So we're right about three minutes, eight seconds. We're just getting up to the 10 cut mark. This water's, the coffee's coming out still about 181. Okay, so right at the four minute mark and it just stopped dripping out the bottom of the carafe or the filter basket. So these things are speed brews, four minutes. Okay, so let's pour. Let's see how the craft pours. Pours pretty good. It's a very hot cup of coffee, I can tell already. Let's see how hot it is. 174, 174, that's a really hot cup of coffee. Again, here's what the coffee looks like. Now the coffee tastes really good. Bun coffee makers make a very good pot of coffee. Okay, so let's have a look, see how the filter basket did. We can see that it did really good. The water did not overflow the filter basket. If your, if your coffee grounds do overflow your filter baskets, you can contact Bun. They do have a different type of brew uh, nozzle you can put on there. Bun's got great customer support. I have had to call them in the past and they always pick up and they've been very helpful. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope this video helps. Thanks again for watching.